we are already familiar with stabilization but do you know that locked on stabilization can make amazing video effects this body commercial is one of the best examples of locked on stabilization and nowadays we have a lot of this kind of effects on scrolling instagram and tiktok so the aim of this tutorial is to make locked on stabilization effects inside a premiere pro the footage we are gonna use is already on the timeline. To stabilize this footage, we use Mocha Pro, a powerful editing software and plugin developed by BodysFX. Mocha Pro has many features like power mesh, object removal, screen inserts, stabilization, and more. Now let's navigate to the effects tab and find Mocha Pro. Then apply to the footage on the timeline. After that, make sure the footage is selected, then move over to the effect controls. You now see the plugin. To access Mocker Pro, just click on its logo. Now we are inside Mocker Pro and you have a clear view of our footage. To get the advanced features of this plugin, we need to switch the layer from Essential to Classic. If you are interested in using Mocker Pro and other plugins at a discounted rate, I have included a special link for you in the description of this video. We can fit the footage by hitting the star key on the keyboard. Let's begin the tracking process by creating a shape on our footage. As we are gonna do a locked on stabilization, so it is important to choose the tracking area. Because in general, every single image can be divided into foreground and background. The foreground of the image is the main subject that is in front or closest to the viewer. It typically represents the main focus of the image. On the other hand, the background is everything else behind the main subject. It less detail sometimes initially blurred so that it doesn't distract from the main object. So we will draw a shape on either the foreground or background to track our footage. Selecting both may not track perfectly, but for complex footage, Mock has a lot of advanced options. As there are no headphones or any objects on the subject's head to track, we can draw a shape around her head. Take the spline tool to draw a shape around the subject or area that you want to stabilize. Let's go to the tracking tab. It is the first step of stabilization. Mocha Pro uses planar tracking, which is a technique that traces flat surfaces, signs, and more. It uses this information to stabilize shaky footage, even when the camera is handheld or attached to a moving object. Motion is the important part of tracking. You notice that the motion is present in both within the tracking tab and the stabilized tab. However, if you only enable translation during tracking, the rotation and zoom options within the stabilization tab won't be effective for stabilization your footage. By default, the first four options are selected, which is good, but most of the handheld cameras in general create translation, scale, and rotation movement. Shared and perspective can be useful when you have a tilt and angled footage. So you can try different settings until you find the one that works best for your footage. Before starting tracking, ensure that the layers is selected. Our time indicator is here, and we can start tracking by clicking on the track forward icon. Once tracking is completed, you'll notice a shadow blue color indicating its status. Shift the time indicator to this point and click on the track backward icon to complete the rest of the tracking. Now position the mouse point over the tracking area and press the space key to play the video. You see Mocha track it well, but it's not stabilized yet. If I go to the stabilizer parameter, here you'll notice X and Y translation is selected. Smoothing frames are set to 10, at this point, return the mouse pointer to the tracking area and play the video again. Well, it looks good to me. Mockup also has various controls and options to fine tune the stabilization result. Let's see how it works. You can see here the black area. This is because Mocha crops this video slightly to stabilize it, which can reduce the video quality, but this is normal for stabilization. Now, if I enable rotation, the result will appear like this. Let's enable zoom. Smoothing frames can be a game changer for stabilization. Setting this parameter to a low value means that the stabilizer will use only a few frames to calculate the stabilization. This makes the stabilizer focus on correction the shorts and fast motions such as bumps and jacks in the camera movement. Increasing the motion frames parameter makes the stabilizer use more frames to smooth out the video. This can help with reducing quick and shaky movements, but it is more effective for longer and smoother motions. For instance, if your camera is panning smoothly or moving steadily over a long distance, a higher value would try to stabilize those motions. If I set all motion and maximum smoothing, then let's see how it works. Mm -hmm. 
Setting the parameters depends on the footage and the final output that you want. As I'm only focused on stabilizing the tracking area, the default settings appear suitable for my footage. However, when you wanna lock on the tiny thing, then your settings must be different. Next, let's move to the borders. Here you find some options to hide the black area from the footage. We can experiment zoom and center options, with only zoom being the best fit for this video. Now let's play the video once. The black area is gone. We can achieve the same result by scaling within Premiere Pro as well. Lastly, click on this icon to save the project and exit Mocha Pro to go back to the Premiere Pro. Okay, now if I play the video, you may notice that the stabilization isn't effective. This is because there is still some settings that need to be adjusted. Let's head back to the Mocha and expand the Mojo renders. Now check the box next to the render to enable it. Within the module options, we have several choices like stabilize, warp and unorp. But we will choose stabilize. So with these adjustments made, we can go ahead and play the video. I hope this tutorial helps you with stabilizing any video footage. I have several other mockup tutorials available. You can find the link in the description of this tutorial. See you in the next one.